Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about classification of transmission line. In today's video, I will explain the basic introduction about classification of transmission line. So let's start. So we know that transmission line is used to transfer the electric power from one place to another place. So we can say by using transmission lines, electric power can be transmitted from the remote generating station to the load centers. Now the overhead transmission line has three constants that is first one is resistance then inductance and the third one is capacitance. Now these three parameters are uniformly distributed over the entire transmission line and the resistance and inductance form the series impedance. Right. So the transmission line can be classified based upon these three factors that is length of transmission line, the line voltage and the capacitance effect. Now there will be three types of transmission line. First one is short transmission line, then medium transmission line and long transmission line. So let's see. First one is short transmission line. So the length of overhead line is up to 50 km and the line voltage is less than 20 kV. So the capacitance effect in short overhead line is neglected because due to the small length. The length over here is small and the voltage is also less. So the capacitance effect is neglected in case of short transmission line. Therefore while designing, modeling and studying the performance of short line only resistance and inductance are taken into account. So the next type of transmission line is medium transmission line. So in medium transmission line, the length of the transmission line can be between 50 to 150 km and the line voltage is between 20 to 100 kV. So the voltage here is increasing and the length of line is also increasing. So here we have to include the capacitance effect. So in this type of line, capacitance effect cannot be neglected. So hence, while studying the transmission line, capacitance effect must be included. So according to the distribution effect of capacitance, the medium transmission line is further divided into three parts. That is, first is end condenser method, then next is nominal T method and nominal pi method. These methods, I will uh, make a different video to explain these methods, okay? So next is long transmission line. In long transmission line, the length of transmission line is more than 150 km and the voltage can be more than 100 kV. So in this type of transmission line, the voltage is more than 100 kV. So for modeling and designing of long transmission line, the capacitance effect is taken as uniformly distributed over the entire length of line. So these are the three types of transmission line that is short, long and a short, medium and long transmission line. So this is all for today's video. If you like my video, please do like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.